Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1819 crown from the reign of King George III. The coin we can see on screen now. I will first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design depicting a portrait of Saint George wearing a helmet and a cape with a sword in his hand on horseback rearing on its hind legs about to slay the dragon under the horse's feet as the story goes of Saint George and the dragon. Below this is the wording Pistrushi who designed this iconic design of George and the Dragon. And then encircling the border of the coin, we have the Order of the Garter, which reads, Honey sweet qui mal wai pence, or shame upon he who thinks ill of it. And then we can see some teeth, milling or beading, around the rim of the coin to prevent the coin from being clipped or shaven, and ensuring no silver is stolen from the coin's edges. So there's the reverse design. Moving on to the obverse, we can see here a portrait of King George III. This is his final bust, sorry, with him facing to the right, it has curly hair and a laurel wreath in his hair, and below his bust again it says Pistushi, so he designed both sides of this coin. To the very bottom there is the date of the coin, 1819, so the year of production for this particular coin. And around the room we can see the legend here, in Latin, which reads Georgivus 3 DG Britannicum Rex FD, and in English this means George III, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith. So there we go, that's the legend of the coin, and you can once again see the milling, teeth or beading, around the edge of the coin, of course, they're again adding security. So there's the design, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1819 crown. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, so this is 92.5% pure, or known as sterling silver, for the purity within this coin. The weight of this coin is 28.28 grams, so a very heavy coin, the heaviest coin in circulation at this time, and a very large coin, again the largest coin in circulation at the time, with a diameter of 38.61 millimeters. So a very large coin indeed, but not a very large mintage, with only 683,400 crown pieces being produced in 1819. But not too scarce as it goes for crowns, as they are often less produced, less highly produced than other coins. The crown coin is a 60 pence piece, which is five shillings or one quarter of a pound sterling. And back in 1819, one crown was equal to 27 pounds and 47 pence today. So almost 30 pounds today for a crown back then. So a coin with a large amount of buying power used for larger purchases. And the coin is still legal tender, still at one quarter of a pound. So of course today, 25 pence face value. And now moving on to the value for a collector. It'll sell for around 30 pounds in poor condition, 50 pounds in fine condition, 425 pounds in extremely fine condition, and then £1,000 in uncirculated grades. So a high price coin there, in the high grades, but still for its nice old size and like a nice old Georgian coin, an affordable piece at only £30 in the worst grade. So there we go, a lovely coin nonetheless, and of course please do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again later for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.